I submit. Do as you will. I didn't want to fight your friends out there. They attacked me. If by death alone, I can atone our trespass. I'm not gonna kill you, okay? I just want to figure out what's going on. Where did you get that focus? Uh, I'm of the chosen people. The Quen? What up, everybody? It is your boy DJ Mixmaster. What happened here? What a body is such a box. Someone managed to take out an entire squad. I hope there's no stalkers out here. It's your boy DJ Mixmaster. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. So, last video, we ended up doing one of the lower level quests, which was go talk to Porkus back at Camp Nowhere. He wanted to give the chest, the toolbox that we recovered from that uh, rock breaker for him, give it back to his sister. Turns out there was a note from their from their mother that she wanted him wanted her to have it a will if you will and there was some little family squabble and whatnot that caused everyone to be separated but hopefully maybe they can reconcile their differences only time will tell but since that was simply just a little quest to go give the toolbox to his sister decided to go to the arena to take on the second level of challenges and did pretty well as you can see we are wearing a new armor this is the armor i picked up from the arena i cleared the the third and the boss stage for the second level of challenges which left us only four short so i retried the slither fang boss challenge from the first set of challenges and managed to complete it and so with over i think what was it 60 medals i managed to buy the nora thunder warrior armor for 54 arena medals i mainly get it because i got said mainly got it because of the concentration perks and of course, once I upgrade it, but that's going to be way down the line because I think I need to get uh, parts from machines that I have not even met yet to start upgrading it. So it's going to be stuck at one for a while, I think. But with the perks we have now, you know, concentration, deep concentration, concentration region and stamina region works really heavily in my favor because... Now that I've realized about weapon abilities and how to actually use them, you know, I, I've always been one to use concentration a whole lot when at, uh, attacking because I'll usually make my opening move a sneak sneak attack and then just go in. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling. It's either stalkers or they could be clamor jaws. In which case, they could be in the trees. But there's seemingly no one out here. So with that, by the so with that, decided to continue on with the. I better keep my guard up. With that, I decided to go ahead and just continue down the line, and we are now at the point where we are out here, up north, to go 
and try to recover Demeter. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hostiles and into the ruins. Get back now. There's more of them. According to Gaia, it should be somewhere in these ruins. Ah, it's just a decoration. Okay. in here. Gotta try to get everything I can because the arena run did drain me of shards quite a bit. So is there anything else? Nope. Okay. This is a chest? Nope, this is just decoration. Okay, let's head back up. like some sort of old office complex. Solutions industry leading biotech research facility. Agritech. Environmental remediation. Organic waste management. 
Whatever your company mm. needs, here at the greenhouse, we'll help solve your problems. Naturally. A thorough research facility. Flower. Demeter should be right beyond that door. But those vines are blocking the way. Unless I can cut through them, I'm gonna need to find another way in. Okay. Can I pry this door open? No. Is there a way up? There has to be a way to get to the other side of that door. Ah, there we go. There's a console. A log. Just got off the line with US Robot Command. Time's running out. Didn't have the heart to tell Harris that our cure might be worse than the disease. Adamantine wreath works. We still have to prove we can curtail the trailing plants efficiently. But Cobble's team is working on it over at Test Station Ivy. He'll come through. He has to. Adamantine wreath. Another secret project. Well, they made the metal flowers here and the vines, so. Maybe I can find a way to destroy them. If I can find Test Station Ivy. How do I get out of here? There we go. Great. These guys again. Whoever they are, they want me dead. I better be careful. Okay. I could take those soldiers out quietly.
I wouldn't give for some pastries Whoa. from the Great Delta. Yeah, step up close. Okay. Someone has explosive ammo. I was like, I couldn't see you. There you are. Clans, 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 clans. Oh, now I need to find a way out of this courtyard. Berserker Hunt arrows are now available for one of your Hunter Bowls. Fire the arrows at human or machine enemies to build up the Berserk state. Once in this state, they will attack the nearest target, regardless of whether they are friend or foe. Wear down the strength of your opponents by making them fight each other. And that's the main reason I want to get the uh, martial hunting bow. Berserk is... The corruption state from Zero Dawn. Anything else? Let's grab you. What was this? A weapon? Yep. That's all right. All right, anything else out here? Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's see. I have an upgrade. Tripwire, might as well. Slowly upgrading everything, so.
Oh yeah, I did upgrade it once. I forgot about that. But this is but this is what I was talking about. I have yet to even see a Stormbird, so yeah. It's gonna potentially be a while. Promising. I submit. Do as you will. I didn't want to fight your friends out there. They attacked me. If by death alone I can atone our trespass. I'm not gonna kill you, okay? I just wanna figure out what's going on. Where did you get that focus? Uh, I'm of the chosen people. The Quen? The ancestors left the power of the focus to us alone, the eye that reveals the legacy. The legacy, huh? The legacy? Uh, the truth. Now, it is in the darkness and the lost places. Among the ancient ashes and the bones of the before that it lies waiting. You know, as a diviner, it is my task to seek it out for the good of my people. You're looking for data. Maybe we can help each other. What's your name? Alva. Second diviner of the Eastern Expedition. I'm Aloy. Why don't we start again? I've never heard of the Quen. Our lands lie across the Great Ocean. We haven't been here before. So why come now? Our homeland has been ravaged by freakish weather. Terrible storms and blistering droughts. The crops are failing, the people are starving. When we looked for answers, it was proposed that if we had the courage to cross the ocean to Legacy's landfall, then we might earn the knowledge we need to save our people. But so far, that knowledge has eluded us. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so... you I see in the descriptions, it's like, you have descriptions for weapons and armor, it's just like, the Quinn, the Karja, the Tanakh, the, the Nora. I thought we were gonna be meeting not only the Tanakh, but the Quinn, you know, just two tr other tribes that were in neighboring lands. They're from another continent! <laughs> wow! So, your people call this place Legacy's Landfall? No. Uh, landfall is where we arrived. To the west, in the shadows of the sunken city by the broken bridge. You mean San Francisco? Yes. You're well versed in the legacy. It was a place of great importance to our ancestors. We had hoped to learn their secrets there, but so far that door remains closed. Even so, the data we discovered there has led us to this place. It might be our last chance. To find something that can save your crops and your people. Yes. If the ancestors will be generous to us once more. <laughs> she doesn't realize that <laughs> the hope for their people is literally standing right in front of her. So you said your ancestors left your tribe that focus. Yes. Thirteen diviners have possessed this one since it was discovered among the ruins in our homeland. I have their honored names committed to memory. So you have one, but none of the soldiers out there did. We each have a role to play. No, it is the Diviner's purpose to seek out the legacy, interpret the wisdom of our ancestors for the good of all, and to keep it safe, so that no one but the Diviners know how to use a focus. Not even the Imperial family, and certainly not soldiers. 
So, how many diviners are there? At Landfall, a small group. Uh, back at home, a few dozen more. That's a guess. Uh, only the Overseers know for sure, and I am not of their rank. Sounds like their people probably ended up having to find one, probably a stash, just like how Aloy found one. So you call data from the ancient past the legacy? Yes. All that is not lost or forbidden. What does that mean? All that we are capable of reading and that which is permitted. Okay. I'm not sure I get it. That's fine. Um, so what do you use the data for? The greatest secrets are the ones that improve the lives of many. How to tend our crops, how to hold floodwaters back, or even cross the ocean. Technology. That is what I seek here. Technology that can help my people back home. Those soldiers, they opened fire on me without warning. Why? Uh, it is the duty of the Quen to seek out the legacy and defend it from the ignorant and envious. Not that you seem ignorant. <laughs> back home, other tribes only mean us harm, and we were told the same was true here. Well, they weren't lying. The legacy is truth. But we have been known to misinterpret it. I hope time and the wisdom of our ancestors will guide us down the correct path. Yeah. I hope so, too. <laughs> huh. I'm looking for a place in this facility called Test Station Ivy. Have you found any data that mentions it? No. Uh, but I did find something that looks like a map. Uh, but it was unreadable. Lost. Maybe I can make some sense of it. Uh, there. There's a lot of files here. <sighs> I've been through all of them. Look in the GH facility section. Like I said, a lost file. You can't see the map? It's okay. It looks like your focus is an early model. The operating system won't be able to read any files created after the mid-2050s. But I could share them with you. Share them? <gasps> you can see what is lost. Then forbidden. Not lost. Not forbidden. Just a newer format. There. That's where I need to go. Oh, but you can't get there. We've been here for a week trying to get deeper into the complex. The way has been blocked by rubble. What about this tunnel? It looks like it unlocks from here. No. I thought these might be some kind of access controls, but I couldn't read enough data to make them work. Let's try with my focus. Okay? <laughs> I believe these consoles were meant to be operated in unison, but I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Following your lead. The ancestors have shown us the way. Come on, let's go. You want me to come with you? It took both of us to open up that tunnel, didn't it? According to the map, there should be another exit further in. Just stay close. Lead the way. Other direction, I'm assuming. Yep, okay.
God, I hope we don't face a machine in these tunnels. It is really tight in here. I was dreading having to stay here any longer with those soldiers. Maybe they slaughtered the barbarians that approached the site. It was like they enjoyed it. Most of my people aren't like that, I promise. Okay. We're definitely on the right track. For those that don't know, when you collected a metal flower in Zero Dawn, when you checked the information in, in the uh, data points in the menu, it was just like this. It was almost like a poem or poetry. Has to be a way out of here. Let's see. There was another path. Perhaps we take that. Gotta be away. What's that thing in the wall? There we go. <laughs> I can't pull it from here. Okay. should try another path we haven't tried that smaller tunnel over there according to the map the exit should be this way Glad to get back above ground. Yeah, it feels like a tomb down here. A hatch at the top. 
top of the ladder. They fly to and from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. Well, the ancestors are dead, Elva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? <sighs> Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. So... We dealt with a new machine when we went to go Poseidon the Tide Ripper. Looks like we're going to be meeting another one. The Tide Ripper was at least easy, though. How do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. The Tide Ripper was easy, though. Once you kind of figure out its pattern. But this is going to be a flying machine. Ugh. Machines. We can fight them. Or try to sneak past. Your cult. Okay, so we have... Burrower. Claw Strider. Long Leg. And I think another... Burrower. Okay. The claw strider is going to be the most important one to deal with, so let's do this. We'll put this here. And then drench it. And now force it to come fight us. Like you do. All right. I say, <laughs> God, I've been at it for a while. Okay. There was one more machine that was over here, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Whew! All right. Grab the two of you while we can.
Ah, there we go. The entrance to the complex looks like it's locked off. A vent. I think I can pull it open. I'm right behind you. Maybe we can get through that hatch on the ground. It looks like the one we used at the first station. There's consoles up here, too! I know where to get to them. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. Maybe something down here can help me reach the consoles. you decide to um uh, blow up a wall i'll uh try <laughs> okay gonna need a data key for this lock i think i can move these things Some space back there. Supplies, but no data key. Aha, this should help. There's another. Let's open this one up and see. This one will budge. Maybe one of the others. Okay. Up on top of it, I can get you to those consoles. Exactly. Hold on. I don't think I 
can That's jump good. up there. Jumping over. I'll have to find another way. <laughs> Made it. I'm at the console. Wait. There's data here. A, a lot. But it's blocked. Something's restricting access. If I can't get past it, my mission here is doomed. Alva, I'll help. If I can, okay? But first we have to get out of here. Right. We need to open the hatch. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. There should be a power cell inside. Then you need to find a way into the generator room. Okay, I'm on it. I found the energy cell. All right, and that's probably what this is for. On my way. <laughs> okay. We need to operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You stay here. Okay, ready? On two. One, two. Commencing adamantine reef vulnerability test scenario 12C15. That's where we need to go. Magnetic field engaged. Initiating biomass conversion process. What? No, 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 no. I want to shut this thing off. me below. I'm gonna share a file with you, okay? Test log. Um, uh, I think it's Tuesday. The second? Oh, who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's jam-packed with irony. We developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. And now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Well, it works. War machines won't be able to eat the reeds. But can we deploy them in time? God, I hope so. Oh my God, that was the plan. Your ancestors, they were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? The time of ashes. But most of the data about that is lost or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. 
I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you could see her bones. They will starve. Alva. Alva. I get it. I do. It's hard to explain, but you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. I'm not sure I understand. But... Every secret makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. We need to keep moving. Test Station Ivy can't be far off. <laughs> so I think I get their plan. The plan was to... That's the reason why she said this cure is even worse than the disease. They literally starved the machines by literally using the biomass conversion systems, placing them into the wreaths, and just simply wait out, wait, wait it out, by their time. Of course, by doing that, they shorten their own lifespans because they have literally nothing to eat, literally nothing to sustain themselves. Never a straight line. Okay, let's go this way first. Yeah, I guess I chose correctly. Maybe. I don't know. Cold and damp down here. Oh, wow. I chose... Okay. I could be missing some treasures or whatnot. Not, but that's fine. Okay. Let's find a way to get into the proving ground.
That complex should be Test Station Ivy. Well, let's hope it holds the answers we seek. Oh, great. Wait a minute, what's that? Your guard up. Whoa! We have no time. It's one of those machines. It can turn invisible. We're gonna have to take it out to get into the system. Okay. Oh wow, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. A dread ring. Large and powerful flying combat machine. Its attacks include a range of disruptive status effects, making it a dangerous and tenacious enemy. Metal bite sack, stamina drain contain. Are you kidding me? Where is that? Inside the machine, probably in its mouth. Okay. Resource container, bomb launcher. St st <laughs> Why? Why would you create a flying machine that can be in stealth? You created a flying stalker! I've said it. Ever since Zero Dawn, the machine I hate the most is a stalker. I mean, they're somewhat easy to deal with, but it's just the fact that because of stealth technology, even if you ping the machine, the moment it goes into stealth, you lose the target lock. Ah, oh, great. Fire, we're just gonna... Okay, fire. And then let's do this. We should be able to get into Test Station Ivy now. It's carrying one of the metal flowers. Is that how they've been distributed? Airdropped from these machines? Huh. <sighs> there might be more machines. Yeah, those are going to be fun to face. And the dumb thing about it is, I have a few weapons, and I, uh, I'm i not for sure about this arm, but I, do, I do, do believe at least two of my weapons require me to get mach parts from that. Yeah, that's going to be fun facing off of those guys, facing against those guys. Oh, my God. A flying stalker. There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. 
I trust your focus will see what mine cannot. Oh, that's interesting. Find something? The fourth test station. Willow. It looks like it's underwater. Huh. That might be worth a look sometime. I must have faith. I walk with the ancestors. We shall find what we see. This console's still operational. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Another log. We're done in every way. The reeds work. And cobble came through. On a way to destroy them. Downloading a coded key into the deployment shell triggers an enzyme that causes the reeds to eat themselves from within. But it's too late. The latest projections from U.S. Robot Command have swarm reproduction, outpacing our ability to drop the shells by 375%. Not even close. So, all their efforts were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module onto my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. <laughs> so someone didn't like it of course the higher ups didn't like it either but something they felt like was necessary hmm. from Marjorie's letter it is with regret that I resign I share that regret Marjorie you served as an excellent deputy but no single person is above the team or the project I came to create life not to destroy it after all we've achieved together, I did not expect such lack of vision. Yes, our research has shifted direction, but biomass conversion is no different than burning wood in a stove or distilling ethanol from molasses. It is a method to release solar energy that was captured organically. Yes, there are military applications for this technology, but that does not mean that there is a logical, moral argument against biomass conversion itself. To say so is emotionally petulant, plain and simple. The saddest aspect of life right now is that science gathers knowledge faster than society gathers wisdom. For Nafisti to end her letter with a quotation made, made it a direct attack. Childish, disappointing, personal. Any sadness I might have had about her departure left me in that moment. I wish her luck with whatever position she is able to find. But the greenhouse will continue on all the stronger now that it is free from such narrow thinking. I sum up with another quote. One better suited to the circumstances. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more, so that we may fear less.
That must be the fourth testing station we saw on the map. Looks like it's been flooded for a while. Oh no 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 no! Please tell me we're not going to investigate in the waters. We'll climb up. Right behind you. We can use the line to get down. Uh, right. <laughs> I still can't believe you took on all these soldiers by yourself. But we'd better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Right. All right. Vine cutter installed on a spear. This code module can be used to dissolve a metal flower's vines. Now what? Now we get to that data core. And now that I have it, instead of red, the, the light on them are now blue. It's blooming. Let's see if the software works. Silence. They're falling apart. The door's clear now. Data core looks intact. Time to bring Demeter home. Demeter, it's time to go home. To Gaia. You see the light. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Demeter's subordinate function to original code. I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But they kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this. But we don't have that kind of time. Uh, what you said before about- Oh, mother- Alba, hold your fire. By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come, look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers. Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, look at her. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you. An ancestor reborn. 
What the hell? Day, wait a moment. What? We should bring the ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Doctor Sobek. <laughs> people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. <laughs> they will have many questions. So do I. <laughs> a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but there... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal... How long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. do as Alva says. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. But I might want to explore the area before I make the trek back to base. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier. We're gonna head back to the base. Woo! Boy, that was a reveal. Wonder where they are or where they went. Okay. Let's go ahead and head back to the base. Man, that is trippy. Other tribes and I mean, it shouldn't be. It's just that, you know, since we're all, all in North America, it's just like it's just like these are the only tribes we've ever known and heard of slash seen. And then now they've seen a tribe across the ocean. Man, that's something. So, we had two missing tools we needed. First was, of course, the diving mask, which allows us to be underwater indefinitely. There's a lot of sunken caves and stuff like that uh, that we could swim into now. And then now with the vine cutter, any places covered in vines, which of course is from the antimatium wreaths, we can now dissolve. There is literally no place that we can't get to now. So I might do th do all of that on the side. It is good to see you again, Aloy. I see you have recovered Demeter.
With the acquisition of Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus, and fortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. <laughs> Okay. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beamcast, and the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I know that place. It's near the Desert Clan's capital. We'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport rig. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work! I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it! Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher- Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone, will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. Alva said the Quen have a ferry on the coast that they use to get to the ruins of San Francisco. That's where I need to go. <laughs> Aloy, I have managed to unlock an additional room near the servers. Understood. Okay, so we'll be seeing Alva again shortly anyway. <laughs> Got a minute? As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. 
They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakh knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but we thought they were just bandits. Hikaru sent out a patrol or two, but I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. Oh, it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare. All right. Anything interesting happened while I was away? I found an acceptable place to practice with my blade. Oh, and where is that? Outside, above the base. There's a nest of sun wings that are always up for a fight. Ever thought of sparring with something that's not trying to kill you? That would defeat the purpose of the training. <laughs> found anything interesting during your training? Gaia told me where to find data on how wars were waged in the old world. I knew the ten fought against machines, much as we do now, but it seems they were among the last of their kind. Later, machines battled other machines on behalf of greedy leaders, as they vied for lands and spoils. At least the Tanakh have the courage to put their lives on the line when conflicts arise. There is nobility in that. But maybe we just need fewer conflicts in the first place. Yes, of course. Hikaru would have it so as well. <laughs> Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the knowledge you recovered out in the desert. I am no chaplain, but I'd be curious to test if something I read is true. What is it? The Old Ones believed one could hear the great waters, even in the middle of the desert, if you carried the carcass of a water animal with you. <laughs> Seashells. <laughs> kind of gross. <laughs> to each their own imagination. What have you been up to? Varl has asked to learn the differences between my people's clans. So I've been teaching him to knock the history. It is heavy with blood and death, but also with honorable deeds and vanquished tyrants. Maybe you'd like to hear about it as well, when our mission is done. I'd be honored. <laughs> what do Tanakh do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend, is surprisingly good at it. Although he has yet to beat me. It helps one think strategically. Hones the mind for tactics. Somehow that still sounds like training. <laughs> Did Aaron tell you we found the people who gave Regala's rebels the power to override machines? He told me of the battle. I suggested he etch this victory on his fighting arm with one of our inkers. Is he going to do it? He didn't say no. <laughs> it's like he didn't say no. <laughs> you said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. <laughs> I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy.
Aloy, you think we can talk? That's just I hear about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. Oh, before I forget. Here. Something to commemorate our mission. We did good together. Yeah, we did. Bet you're used to that focus by now. Well, I can hit machines in their weak points. <laughs> I guess that's something. I wish all the other data was as easy to deal with. Now, to be honest, it's hard to understand half of what's on there. And then the other half reminds me, well, this isn't a fight you can win by just waving a hammer. Which is kind of what I do. But hey, <laughs> that just means I gotta study harder. Now, make myself useful. Just give it time. You've been looking at any interesting data? I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back. And she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. <laughs> Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solly food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. <laughs> Of course he's a sports guy. Of course he's a sports guy. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, the place is fine as it is. You know, metal might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? <laughs> How are things with Catalo? You still scared of him? Oh, she thinks she's funny. <laughs> Actually, I played strike with him. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need any help? Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Varl will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy. Aloy, you're here. Did you meet with the Quen already? Not yet. After all the trouble you went through getting those subfunctions, seems unfair you have to deal with these Quen on your own, too. It's safer this way they think i'm sobek or something like that they won't hurt me but i doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else if you say so let me know if you need anything before you go you better not be slacking off on your studies while i'm gone and risk zo coming after me i value my life in fact i've been reading about ted farrow how he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. I hope Zoe's not upset I'm distracting you from your training. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. What do you mean? What happened? Before Zoe found a way to fix the land gods, I suggested that when Gaia was fully restored, she could just make new ones. It's definitely a possibility. That's what I said. But I guess there was something about my tone she didn't like. She got pretty raw. Said I didn't understand the way her tribe feels about those machines. Which is true, of course. And the last thing I'd ever want to do is dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. More like you, you know? To see a machine as just a machine. Yeah, I guess I led you into trouble there, didn't I? Not your fault. Don't worry. <laughs> That's what I say. It's like, yeah, it's just like, ew. You can, you cannot tell anyone when they have their own convictions and, and traditions and ideas about certain things and be like, oh, you could just replace them. And it's just like, that kind of hits somewhere, you know? <laughs> Did you talk to Zoe? After your fight? 
I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? <laughs> you don't know anything about any of this. You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. <laughs> well, Beta and Gaia built the rig, can you get everyone ready for the mission ahead? Of course. What is it? Nothing. It's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia, and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react, and the Karja, and, well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. We've got an angry AI to take down. If I get Omega clearance and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. I'll be in touch if I need anything. We'll be ready. Everyone's been briefed on the pulse generators as well. Good. Aloy, I hear you're going further west past the Tanakh clan lands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. I mean, technically they're not wrong. Anything interesting happen while I was away? Aaron told us how you tracked down the Osaram supplying Regala with machines. In fact, he's quite adamant about relating the tale at least twice a day. But I can tell it meant a lot that you asked for his help. I wouldn't have been able to track them down if it wasn't for him. You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. <laughs> such luck. <laughs> of course he's into death metal. <laughs> Sports and death metal. Oh god. <laughs> you and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? Well, there's always Katalo. Leave aloud Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. How much have you read on Ted Farrow? Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. For once oh, that's easy. In such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. It is super easy. When you're at the bottom and you find some way to make it to the top. And you have that sustained success. You will do anything to keep it. And everything that's connected to it. It looked like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the land gods. 
Even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry. <laughs> I thought it would be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's good. Oh, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Festus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready. Oh, that's good. Where's the room that was recently opened? It wasn't this one. No, this one was already opened. So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup. Like the it probably meant something to them. As it does to my people and the Tanakh. Now here. No, not here. Okay. No, not here either. That's the exit. Is it down here? Oh, this was the storage, right. Let's finally open this and see. I wonder where this leads. Power cells? Huh. What's down here? Guess it was. Plugging in that power cell downstairs must have turned on these holograms. Switch to a private log. Okay, so regional control center nine. Design of the facilities coming along. When Gaia finally builds it, it'll have everything it needs. 
accept personality. So, I'm going to sneak in my own mark. A, a couple of flourishes. Starting with this little tucked away hideout. August would have gotten a kick out of it. He loved hidden passages, like the kind in old English castles. But I've got something bigger planned. My piece de resistance, if you will. I can't get in to this door. And I can't grab that. Ugh. Train the body, train the mind. That's what the chief always says. Wasn't there, wasn't in here. Oh yeah, it already came. Did I already come through here? No clue, never mind. Okay, what's through here? nothing in here but just that okay looks like I was able to unlock that door what was this room for Gaia this was intended as a diagnostic center to monitor machine activity in the repair bay below it appears most of the equipment was damaged Likely from Minerva's control of this facility. Yeah, she did try really hard to keep me out. Looks like a power cell could fit here. The vault. I found a locked door behind the vent in the basement. Wonder if that's it. So that's why there were two. Hmm. No, it wasn't this one. Oh, 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 oh. I know where it is. I went the wrong way. Nope, nope, nope. Was is it was? I can go this way. Okay. Then. Pick up the energy cell. And 
it's not over here. It's this way. Okay, that console has power now. of this data. Festus has been trying to hack into the repair bay. Ah, okay. Doesn't look like it's been able to. Was this door always locked? Beta requested the use of that room as her personal space. I have locked it at her request. Okay. All right, perhaps when get her to open up a little bit more, maybe we can go in. All right, anywho, with all of that, I believe this is a good place to take a break. Next video, start probably doing side quests and everything because this uh, quest, the Seeds of the Past, was level 24, and there are a bunch of other side quests and errands and everything that was around the same level, so... It will be a while before we get back to the main story. And now that we've faced our first Dreadwing, perhaps we might be able to encounter some out in the wild. Well, let's just hope it's not surrounded by other machines. So, like and comment on the video. Aloy, it's a long way to the coast. If you need to resupply en route, I suggest stopping in Falls Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got it. Thanks for the advice. All right. The snow's coming down heavy. So, like and comment on the video. Subscribe for more gameplay. And with that, see ya. Peace.